this is one of two games I'm putting up on the high-end uh, Japanese gunboat destroyers, the Kitakaze and the Harugumo. This is the Kitakaze, and we're going to be on Warrior's Path, and if you look at the lineup, you can see that we only have one really stealthy destroyer. Uh, the other side has, uh, has three. And Warrior's Path is an interesting board, uh, map rather. Um, a lot of people avoid C, but if you avoid C, <coughs> you're really vulnerable on that flank. And I came in on C, and I'm letting folks know that I'm going to go ahead and scout wide. And this is the way I routinely do C in a destroyer. The other interesting thing about this game is it just proves the idea that a lot of people have that the Kitakaze and the Hurugumo are just daka daka shoot 'em up boats. They have phenomenal rates of fire. They're a little, especially the Hurugumo is a lot like a a Kudasov more than a destroyer. Um, sits in smoke and and fire shells. But if you look at her, both of them. They've got two, or they've got a set of six torpedoes in a launcher with a reloader, which is like having five second apart uh, two banks of fish. Twelve of them. They're Shimakaze style fish. I'm using the 12 click fish. And as you can see, I'm moving out over towards almost a 10 line. I'm at the line line right now. And. I don't have RDF on this boat. I do have IFHE, so I don't have superintendent. I don't have radio location. So there's a st at least one stealthy destroyer on the other side who has me located. And they've got a reasonable idea of where I am. My team is doing a good job of coming up alongside behind me. So it could be that uh, they're going to spot the Hindenburg and figure that's who's here. Um, I'm trying to stay hidden. I'm going to use this island a little bit for cover. That's uh, right above me uh, on the almost a nine line. The other larger island in the cap, I'm using a little bit um, to screen if that destroyer is up there as well. But it's also letting me look around the corner. And here we go. I've started spotting ships. And we got a couple of battleships up there in North Carolina and in Montana. The other side is pushing A. They've already almost capped it. And here we have the Hindenburg. There is only one uh, one radar boat. That's a lucky thing for me, known radar boat, that Cleveland. So I'm going to start sliding in and seeing if we can spot possibly... And I'm a little more visible than the other destroyers, so i got to be real careful and ready to duck. There is a destroyer in here. Likely he's behind that island, but he could be alongside of me. I now have torpedoes coming up. There's the Hindenburg. There's the Montana. He may be trying, the Montana may be trying to do the back up and forward. I'm going to try to avoid ducking in the camp and start setting out fish. And I'm trying to decide if I want to set that second set out or not. Because, um... I don't know where the other destroyer is. If I throw those fish, I'm going to be a couple of minutes away from having torpedoes again. So he's locked himself in, and I've got fish going that way. So I'm going to go ahead and change to Daka Daka. I'm not in the cap. Um, and you could make the argument that I might, but I don't know where that Cleveland is. I don't want to get radar and killed. Also, I want to angle in a bit. I'm close enough that I can get shells both on the Hindenburg. And there we go. We got the hit. Two hits on, I assume it's the Montana. Because that's where they were. Um, I would have liked to put one in the nose of the uh, Hindenburg. I haven't done that yet. But I want to see if I can get that uh, Montana on fire too. Because he had to have used his eel party. He had two floods. So I could conceivably take their battleship out real quick. Yep, he's burning good. I don't know if those are one of those is mine or not. I don't think it was. But he looks like he's going down. 
they do have two caps, so they're gaining points. So even if we kill him, which is a likelihood, uh, I don't see him surviving this, but he might. Um, we're still going to be down on points. They're already 100 points ahead of us with no kills. They're taking B. And there's a Yamato. All right, can I get two battleships? We are now five minutes in the game. I've done over 60,000 in damage. And it looks like somebody else harvested the kill on the Montana. We are now starting to push A, so that takes a little of the pressure off the cap situation. There's fish I was expecting. There's a destroyer up there that I can't see. And there, one destroyer is heading over to uh, B, so that means there are two destroyers in the neighborhood. I'm going to try and get up close enough to get some shots with my torpedoes on the uh, Yamato, but I have to be careful because there are a number of ships that will have me at gunnery range, and I don't want to be seen. I want to get this cap. And so what you're seeing here is playing stealthy torpedo. The other thing is that you got a while between smokes, and I only have three smokes on this boat. So it's not like I can sit there and play the whole game in it. So do I want to put my fish out on this Yamato? I want to make sure he's going where I want him before I let him go. And in case I get pushed by these boats hiding behind the island, um, if they decide to actually get busy here, um, I want something to block them from coming in, and then I'm going to try to get this cap. So I'm angling up. And when I do that, with these turns, and there's the Cleveland. Yeah, and I'm already committed to getting in the cap. I can't turn fast enough. Uh, if he has fired his radar long enough, he might have a cooldown, and he can radar me. I don't like that. And somebody's throwing more fish at me. There's smoke. So I've got to be careful. I'm only a click away from where that Cleveland can radar me. He's moving out. That's good. He's now out of radar range. Which is what I was partially waiting for. And I may be able to get back in there cap. We now have A and we are taking B. And it looks like they're trying to rally against B, which is highly necessary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lose a set of fish at that Yamato. He's turning, so I've anticipated a little bit. Still debating on that second set. But I went ahead and let it go. Now the way these things work, you can see my reloader has 200 and, or 210 sec or two minutes 10 seconds. Um, my actual reload on the torpedo bank itself is a little longer than that. If I push early, I'm going to lose that next bank of torpedoes. There we go. We got hits. And that Hindenburg is where I don't want him. So I'm going to try to either kill him or drive him off. Hopefully my team will start shooting too. I did look, and I didn't mention this, I did look before I smoked up to make sure that people could see both the Hindenburg and the Yamato. And Hindenburg has used his repair party and is weak. So I'm going to try to set him on fire, because if he goes on fire right now, he's just about dead but I can't really stay in the smoke and do this because he's going to have me in detection range pretty quick he's got a plane up too so now I'm relying on the fact that I don't get hit I'm going to have to bobble and weave 
I don't know what kind of shell he's got loaded, but at this range, yes, they hurt. Um, and I've got the Cleveland. And the Musashi, I think that's what that was back there, both have me in their sights. But we're going to get a Yamada here. There's the fire. All right, I'm going to start turning out of here. A few more shells and try to get the kill myself. And Cleveland, 12 clicks away, but I don't have smoke for another minute and 10 seconds. There's a kill. 137,000 in damage right now. And when he died, um, that went ahead and got me out of there. We have lost A again, so I'm letting the team know we really need a cap. This game is still, in spite of the number of ships we have killed, look at the score. They are winning. And if they start getting some kills, they could get enough of a lead that one of those destroyers could end up with a solo warrior. And yes, it can be done. I've got eight solo warriors myself the last time I looked on situations pretty much like this. And that Hindenburg is sitting right in the cap. And I am down to 16,000 in hit po health points. He's at 38,000. And his guns will put me down pretty quick if I'm not careful. On the other hand, we've got a Missouri coming in to challenge him. And he's... Engine well, maybe he's going to hide behind that island. But... Um, we have C. We're pushing A again. And if you look, they're almost 200 points ahead. And they are down five ships. We're down three. In fact, they're down three battleships. We're down a battleship, a cruiser, a destroyer. So we get a two battleship advantage and kill points on them. But the Yamato... is lining up nicely. I want to get into that cap, so that's why I slowed down. I would have rather have shot closer. Can't see him, but I know where I need to put those fish, so there goes one bank. And I popped the reloader, so I have fish again. I don't know what's going on. My Hindenburg's dead, so I don't have to worry about that. We now have a significant advantage in kills, and we are still behind on points, but we have two caps, so that will be picking up pretty quickly. I've got smoke, and those fish, there's no way that Yamato is not eating at least two and maybe three or four of those unless he turns right now. And it looks like he's trying to start, but he's, nope, he's not. I guess he figures with uh, the Masashi, I mean, with uh, almost 100,000 hit points, I guess he feels he can tough it out. <coughs> he did turn down, so he's eating two. I'm out of the cap, but I'm trying to avoid that airplane because that Cleveland is right there. And this game, in spite of our ship advantage, is still somewhat close. Um, We have the caps now, so I'm not really doubting that we're going to win. But I've seen weirder things happen. So now I'm capping. I'm getting to where I can see the Masashi again. And I'm debating on putting some fish on him. I don't know which way he's going to turn. If he turns to the wall, there's no way I'm really going to hit him. Cleveland's running the other way and is out of radar range. Masashi's turn. He's going to help, so I'm going to go ahead and throw those fish and finish capping. And that's pretty well completely turned the point situation to our advantage. We got uh, another kill on that Ibuki that was attacking A. <coughs> A is now ours for the rest of the game without any issue. 
got a solo camp. Our victory is in sight. And hoping that I can put some Masashi down with those fish. And then maybe some fire. It's one of the reasons I'm holding my smoke. I may need to reposition. Uh, if he keeps moving, he can be out of my gunnery range relatively soon. I have 12 mile or 12 click guns, um, so he's going to be out of my uh, sight picture, even assuming we've got ships that can see him. Because I'm pretty sure the Kudasov can. But he's also far enough away, and his guns are turned, and so are the North Carolinas. So I don't need my smoke. I'm just going to start opening up. That took care of the Cleveland. There's no more radar threat. Looks like their Sing Yang is in B, capping. Yep, there he is. So we've pretty well wrapped this one up. But as you can see, um, yeah, I did shoot. I put 198 shells in the air. But I also used five torpedoes, and that did a good bit of damage. The results are going to show, um, yeah, the guns and the fires did a good bit of damage. But don't just consider this a duck a duck a boat and you can see from the way this went that caps are important. The results are coming up, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Here are our battle results. We did just over 170,000 in damage, 198 gun hits. Of those, 152 were pens. Five torpedo hits, sunk one, three fires, four floods, one solo cap, four spottings. That brought us in second on the team, just a little underneath the Kabarusk. And for detail report, we did 61, almost 62,000 damage on the Yamato. Uh, a good bit of that was from Flood, about half, over half. Montana, another almost 55,000. Again, that was a mix of mostly uh, torpedoes, followed by main battery hits, then some fires and floods. Masashi, 33,000. Two torpedo hits were the majority of that. The Hindenburg, 20,000. And virtually all of that was from the guns. We just missed a wither by five, less than 5,000 uh, points of damage. We tanked 804,000, 805,000 in potential damage. Three fires were caused on our spotting, and there was 56,000 in damage done off of that. And we got 60 out of 240 capture points. We lived through the whole battle. We only took 700 uh, or 7,448 in damage. Now the credits are a bit skewed because I do have flags and fancy camo on. But we took home 232,000 after subtracting for consumables in silver. 12,000 in uh, ship XP. 22,000 thanks to a dragon and that high score there in command XP. And we did have an Ouroboros flag, so we took home 5,300 in uh, free XP. Very interesting game. We hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave comments, and we'll see you out.